So, um, systems of linear equations part 1, just the base, what is a system of linear equations? A linear equation is just um, an equation without any like square roots or squares or anything fancy like that, but just like a bunch of variables and constants um, together, right? So it would be something um, where you just have like stuff like, you know, a plus 2b um, minus 7c equals to 5 or something, you know? That's like, you can't see that. <laughs> That's like a linear equation. Um, and a system of linear equations is just multiple linear equations with like connected variables. So if you have something like this, is that, okay, that's a bit more visible where you see like x1, x2, x3, they're like synced between the two and these are just like a few different equations. That's a system of linear equations um, where it's just multiple things um, and the variables with the same variable match. Um, and so this 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 is you can call it like a linear system and like the variables are called unknowns um and basically when you have something like that you, you can have like up to a lot um you can write it in the form of a matrix kind of like this right um where you know you simplify it focusing solely on like the like the placement and all uh for like geometry instead of like having the random variables this simplifies it a bit more and then there's something called um, elementary row operations um, and elementary row op operations is how you affect this uh, linear system um, and you can either multiply the rows each row or each um, equation by a constant so you multiply everything um, by like five or you can um, add a constant times one row to the other um what that means is like you see this i can do like um with this second row i can do the first row i can minus it by the first row times two so the first row that x multiplied by two that's two x so if this minuses that it'll be like zero x and then um that with everything else um and the last thing you can do is just switch it around. You can like swap the rows. So if I have, you know, this, it doesn't matter which order I put it in. I can put it like the other way around. It'll, it'll be fine. Um, and if you just manipulate these three things, you should be able to um, get a result, right? You should be able to find a solution to this linear system. Now, a solution is something where you get a value for every... Uh, unknown in the linear system um, that um, makes all the equations valid. Um, so that would be something, something like this, where if I have, you see the, can you see it? Yeah, just these two equations. I can do some elementary row operations where I subtract the second equation by the first equation times two. Um, and I'm able to get this, well it's flipped, but <laughs> x equals to 7 over 3 and y equals to 4 over 3. Um, this is like, a, like Arabic numeral 6, anyways, um, up to, uh, anyways, um, you can put these together and they'll be valid for these two equations. And that gives you your solution, um, and there will be, uh, for your solution for the linear system and there'll either be one solution zero solutions or infinite solutions and that's because you can have situations where you because these are all meant to be like geometric right it's supposed to be like visualized uh in a euclidean like graph right so you can either have if they're both ver parallel then there'll be um none right there'll be no results and what you'll see from this is that like by using the elementary row operations, you get something crazy like here 0 equals to minus 6. That doesn't exist, which means there's no solution. Um, you can get one solution, which is just like a normal state, and that's because there's an intersection between those lines. Or you can get an infinite number of solutions when the two lines are like on top of each other. Um, this works for... Um, this doesn't just work for two rows or two equations, but it works for as many as possible, even if it's three and it's three-dimensional or four-dimensional but um 
it, in theory, it'll always either be no solution, one solution, or an infinite number of solutions um, within the bounds of having uh, linear equations, a system of linear equations. Um, if uh, you are in that situation where you have something with infinite solutions, then um, you know you'll be able to simplify it uh, using the and realize that um, everything sums up to one join like the solution is just one equation you have one equation left and like you can't simplify it to fight any further you can't simplify it into a single like to give each unknown a single constant in that case you can just make like something temporary like t um and use that so y equals to t x equals to some equation using t or if you have two unknowns then you can use you know um r and s which is what it was done here so y equals to r, z equals to s, and x equals to the equation, like the equation with y and z substituted. And so from there, you can manipulate t, r, or s. Um, and whatever you manipulate it with will give you a correct solution. So that's first part of systems of linear equations.